Hey there, everyone. It's Friday. It's Friday. And of course, there's football because it's preseason and normally a not, not a day that has football generally during the regular season, but it does during preseason. But the only caveat is that preseason football is extremely difficult to predict. Um, so last night there was a game and last night that game, the algorithm was about as opposite as it could be when it comes to predicting that game. Thought that Seattle would win and instead the Bears won. Um, Bears won, it looks like 27 to 11. So what this does is it provides us an opportunity to say, well, what can we use this algorithm for here in the preseason? And the answer is learning. We're going to learn what's going on in this file and how it works. And one of the reasons why it is very, very difficult to get this thing right in the preseason, because you just don't have any stats yet for a lot of people. So let's talk about uh, today, because there are games today. Apparently there are two games today. And it would say Patriots over the Panthers and Rams over the Texans slightly. Okay. Well, how does this get here? And is this complete? Because that's really what I want to make this video about. If you're interested in purchasing the NFL algorithm, you can have me do the work every week for you and send you and you know two emails a week on Thursday and on Saturday night or, or very early Sunday morning with the projections for the week as I do all of this work. Or you can buy a copy for $50 and start updating all these sheets yourselves and understanding how the programming works and try to, to make your own version of it, which can and probably will be better than mine if you really put a lot of effort into it. So let's talk about how that works and what's going on. A lot of what's important in this file is represented in this proj pivot sheet. The proj pivot sheet is a list of all the players on all the teams that we have active and in any injury status, whether it be questionable or on the IR and stuff like that. Um, and so you can take a look at everything and see what is being consolidated as the player matchup. So for example, last night, uh, there was a game between Chicago and Seattle, right? So we could click Seattle, and we could click Chicago by holding down the control button and clicking both of those in this team slicer. And you get a breakdown of who was playing in that game. You can see that uh, the injury report is actually current as of Friday. So Drew Locke, I believe, probably played last night, but then got, got came down with COVID or something today, something like that. So it moves to a questionable list here because the injury report actually updates uh, as soon as we update the injury report from RotoWire. So you can start to look and say, well, what happened in this game? Did Jacob Eason try to play in this game because they're not going to be working Drew Locke early? Andrew Locke was sick. Did Marquise Goodwin get hurt with a hamstring early? Like what happened in this game that caused Seattle to really put up essentially nothing? And on top of that, what happened with the Bears? Are the Bears, you know, a team that are, has a lot of guys that are looking to show that they can play because they're competing for spots? And did these guys play? And also who's on here or who's not on here? Who's, who are the rookies that are not on here that played these positions and contributed to that preseason game? I have no idea. I don't even know how to forecast rookies' potential stats, um, it, especially in preseason. I mean, talk about something that's basically impossible to do is how well is a rookie going to do and how much is that rookie going to play in preseason? Sorry, but the algorithm is just not smart enough to figure that out. Um, so, so what it's going to leave you with is an incomplete list of things. For example, why don't the saints have a kicker? Wh who is their kicker? Is their kicker a rookie? We are artificially not putting it up, up, uh, uh, up enough points for the saints in the preseason game today, because we have no kicker. Same thing with the Cleveland Browns. I have tried to research some of these items, but it's just not an easy answer. And also when it comes to predicting preseason, how much value is it really going to provide us? So I would say that um, I, while I was initially a little more gung-ho on having preseason wagering be a little bit more impactful, now I'm saying the only way to make that statement true is really to go through all the players that are playing and identify rookies. If you feel like doing that, you have the ability to do that, but I, 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 I just, I don't see how it's really all that possible. So instead of worrying about trying to predict these games exactly here in the preseason, I would say let's worry about getting these rosters straight and let's worry about keeping an eye on these injury reports, right? Who are the questionable people? You know, the, the, it's interesting how like, all right, well, 
A lot of the wide receivers on Tampa Bay are questionable with stuff. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Russell Gage. Why is this happening? This is interesting intelligence that as you worry about fantasy, you know, fantasy drafts and stuff for the season or keeping an eye on players and their status. This is very helpful in that sense. So I, I you know, I want to be honest and, and truth in advertising here. And I do believe that you're, you're not going to get a lot of predictive uh, benefit from wagering on these games here in the, uh, in the preseason, but you are going to learn how the database structure is set up so that when the season happens and you want to be updating this ahead of when I update it every week and really getting some intelligence before the game start, then you'll be able to, to maneuver all these sheets in here. So that's kind of what I wanted to do the video today. I'm, I'm getting on a plane. I'm going East coast, West coast in like 48 hours. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're heading to the East coast. So uh, actually, I don't even know. Yeah. I guess I'll be able to wager in uh, on the East coast. You're not allowed to wager on FanDuel in California, but I think I will be able to wager. No, you're not. Yeah. So, but you are in Virginia. Um, I want to be long pants, right? Uh, when you're up, when you're on a plane, sometimes it's it's a little cold. Oh yeah, but I can yeah I can. Just I actually wear long pants because then you don't have to put them in your bag, so you save bag space. I mean, but, you're gonna bring this to me. So. Yes, all right, we're in the middle of a video still. Um, yeah. so no, we are we are heading east, but um, but I did want to do this video and get this ready. So so if you think about you know the schedule of what's happening here, they call this preseason week two, and. You know, is, if there is there any juicy line? I mean, there's a lot of underdogs up here, but we just, you know, I mean, like look at this plus 190 Arizona, plus 180 in the Niners. These are ridiculous lines for the preseason because you don't know who's going to play or who's going to win. There's five and a half point spreads here. And, and a lot of these games, if you look at week one's games, I mean, the points, the total points that actually occurred are right here. And they're ranging between like 24 and 59. Uh, but the, but yeah no I mean, there's a pretty even distribution of stuff I you just don't know what to expect it's preseason and I think everybody kind of knows that and I was thinking that it might be a little bit more predictable but don't ever listen to me always listen to the algorithm and the algorithm says hey Ken hey everybody we don't have enough good stats because we're missing a ton of rookies that are probably going to be playing a high percentage of the game so don't trust me when it comes to predictions. That's what the algorithm is saying for the preseason. If you really listen. So, all right, that's the update. If you do one thing, enjoy, get a copy of this file and learn how it works so that you can take control of it and do what I do every year, which is update this, do a video. And I'm like, guess what, everybody? You know, this is the thing to focus on on the week. And more often than not, the algorithm is quite predictive in what it does. All right. So good luck, everybody. May all your picks be winning. Enjoy your preseason football. And we'll be back on the East Coast or the West Coast or one of these coasts eventually. All right. Good luck. Yeah,